What is up, Adalo Makers? Today we're going to be going over the top bar navigation, which is a new responsive navigation component that's brand new uh, with our Adalo 2.0 stuff. Uh, I've just got like a basic web app here uh, to kind of demonstrate here. I've already got the top navigation installed here, but you can certainly, uh, you know, click on this uh, plus sign here and just type in top navigation and it should pop up here. You can drag this in much like the sidebar navigation uh, for responsive. We've got a ton of options here, which makes it really, really awesome. Um, we don't have to adjust any layout settings or anything like that. It's going to automatically adapt based on the screen size for our app, um, no matter what screen size or device the uh, your end users are on. Um, and so this uh, first drop down here uh, for this component, we've just got a top navigation, uh, the background color. In this case, I just want it to match what I've already got here. Um, you can set a bottom border if you want. I don't really need a bottom border, so maybe I'll turn that off. Um, the title, the cool thing about this is that you can actually change what the title does or looks like on different devices. So um, I can either make it the same on all screen sizes, either a logo or just text, um, or I can change it by screen size and make it, say, maybe text on a mobile tablet and a logo on desktop or vice versa. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility just with this, uh, the, just the title right here as well. Um, and when, of course we can, you know, change the size of it and all that good stuff. So, um, a lot of flexibility with the title, the menu styling, uh, much like sidebar, uh, component, you've got, uh, you know, left aligned center aligned for these components or even right aligned. So you can make some more traditional website style, uh, uh, uh menus up here if you like. Um, we've got, uh, even, you know, line uh, indicators, whether we want it to be a background fill, uh, like kind of a bubble, or we want it to be like a more traditional kind of line up underneath that. And then of course we can change all of the co colors here. So instead of an, uh, you know, gray being the ac active background color, maybe I want it to be a nice purple color. And, uh, you know, maybe I want the, uh, maybe I do want this background fill to be like maybe a lighter purple, maybe, Right, and maybe the active menu is something like that. Um, so you, there's a ton of different customizable options here for colors and all sorts of things like that. If I don't want it to be the you know the active menu item th to be menu item one, I can always go in here and change this to uh, any of the other ones that exist here. And of course, uh, I can also change the menu items themselves both the icon and what they actually say, as well as add some click actions here to, you know, link to and from screens, those sorts of things. And then we've also got this additional navigation down here, and this just provides you some additional buttons over here on the right, um, either one button or an icon and a button for notifications or sign-ins, you know, sign-in, log out, whatever you need to say over here. Um, we've got some additional navigation that can be toggled on and off. And then we've got this profile image section here where you may want to display the user's profile uh, picture uh, either as a URL or a database uh, image. And you can even provide some text here as well if you want um, and, and click actions. So again, with the top bar component, tons and tons of uh, customizable options here. Uh, that you can really hone in the look and feel of your app while, you know, making it responsive on any device that your users are on.